Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel for another mod showcase review. And today we're going to be going over a mod called the Evolved RPG mod. It adds in some amazing armors, weapons, tools, ores and some mobs as well. But before we get into that guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell and then slap that like button. It really does help the channel out and it, it makes me feel great as well. So you know... It's, a, it's an all-round helpful thing to do. And uh, yeah, so let's get on with it. And over here, right here, we have the new ores. The three beautiful new ores or elements, whatever you want to call them, added to the world. First up, we have some brimstone. We have some shade stone. And then we have some Everest here. These are the various ores, blocks, and ingots, I guess you could call them, found when mined. And they look great. And you're going to use these to obviously craft some of these amazing looking weapons, tools, and of course, armors. Now, let's get into well, the armors. Let's start with the armors first. So, first up, we have the Brimstone Armor. This armor is a bit weaker than Diamond, but gives you a healing aura that will heal you and players within a 10 block radius of you. Around 1 HP per 10 seconds. In the sunlight only though. Tools restore durability in the sunlight as well. So all the tools for the brimstone are in the top row up there. We also have some brimstone spears and war hammers and some shurikums. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, the war hammers and shurikums look absolutely awesome. They are crafted like this. So from brimstone shards. And the Warhammer is crafted like this, so a brimstone right there with some iron around it and some sticks there. To craft the armor for it, it's a bit different. You are going to need a combination of iron and a combination of the brimstone, obviously. It pretty much sort of tells you if you look at the actual item or the actual chest plate or leggings, whatever, it sort of tells you the position of the crafting, crafting recipe. So like that like that yeah you just gotta kind of look at it it's fair it's fairly self-explanatory with it um but i do have a just enough items mod installed as well just to give it a little assist with that this is probably my favorite looking set of armor in this mod i do have to say it does look phenomenal but let's take a look at the shade stone next so the shade stone armor yet again is a bit weaker than diamond but it is much easier to enchant. It has this purple effect to it and is crafted in the same sort of way. Uh, we just went over with the brimstone. So I'll just go over that one more time for you guys. So it's done sort of just like that. It's fairly simple. It's fairly straightforward. And these guys being a bit weak in the diamond, as I was saying earlier, they are between about the difficulty to find of iron to diamond. So they're in about a midway region of that. Yet again, this is a great looking armor. Not my favorite, as I was saying, but it is still a great looking armor set. So now we have the Everice armor set. This armor in its normal state is a bit weaker than diamond, but it can be buffed up with this amulet here. The Everest amulet activates Everest armor to become better than Neverite for three minutes when in main hand. So it is pretty good to have that. You craft this guy just like that. So it's not too difficult. So definitely worth making that. And I do love these as well. They're great. Um, but yes, when using the amulet, obviously, it gives you a bit, bit more better. Well, gives you some amazing frost armor effect for three minutes. In this state, Everest armor is going to be much or well, stronger than Neverite. The effect will expire if you will fall into lava or get lit on fire. So those are the sort of things that will nullify its effect, the amulet's effect. The tools and weapons for these, for the Everest set, will inflict freezing. That reduces enemies' attacks and movements. Effects last longer per each Everest armor part. So the more armor you have on, the longer the effect is going to last on the mob you attack. So let's, I'm sorry bro, we're going to, it's not, it's not going at you, is it? Okay, let's, 
Okay, there you go. Needs to get a bit, bit further away. I love these. They are awesome. All right, so let's take a look at these armor sets now. So here we have the full set of Chitin armor. It's made from the body parts or the shell of one of the mobs in this mod, which we will take a look at in a minute. It's a scorpion sort of type creature. These weapons will also give poison to your enemies and wearing the suit of armor will give you poison resistance. So currently here I'm wielding a spear. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, let's see if I can actually hit anything with it. Let's see if I can wear some poor villagers so load it back to get further range as you would with most spear mods but it is a great looking armor set and it is a great weapon as well the weapon is crafted just like this and it gives you four stinger spears finally we have the black chitin armor full set gives you poison and wither protection this armor is equal to diamond armor. It doesn't have any weapons or tools associated with this armor set yet, but I look forward to when they do implement that into the mod. This is one of the strongest sets of armor in the mod because to kill the mob, it's quite it's a strong mob. But as you can see, within this mod, it's very much worth it. The first mob we have is the Everest Crab. Now you can actually tame these guys as well or you can attack them and they will drop Everest shards. But taming them all you've got to do is feed them some Everest shards. They are not really supposed to be in this biome but there we go. But just got to feed them Everest shards and then you'll be able to mount them and ride them around. Next up we have the two types of desert golems, the lesser golem here with 35 HP sitting with 6 defense and then over here we have the stronger version sitting at 50 HP with 7 defense on them. Now these guys will drop sandstone and brimstone shards which you are obviously going to use for some of the crafting in this mod as we've already been over. They're fairly hard and fairly dangerous to defeat as well. Then we have the scorpion or the chitin. It's going to drop you the chitin shards uh, for you to craft your armor. It's also going to drop a stinger and a claw as well. Next up we have the black scorpion. Now these guys don't drop anything apart from their respective uh, black chitin shards. They are strong and they will give you a wither effect when battling them. Here we have one of the passive mobs in the mod, the Kobold Miner. They are friendly and will only attack you if they are provoked themselves. Last but not least, we have the Deep Crawler. These guys will drop some Shade Stone Shards when killed. They are very fast and they tend to attack almost everything. They are a very aggressive mob. And as you can see, the Golems are not their biggest fans. Well guys, that's it for the Evolved RPG mod. I hope this helped you out when downloading this mod to give you a bit more information when playing through it and how to get started with it. If you enjoyed this mod, guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you are either going to be going downloading this mod now if, or if you have already downloaded it and played through it. Let me know that in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Until next time, see ya.